r slash ask reddit what is a common skill you just can't seem to master getting all the components of a meal ready at the same time same i recommend using the keep warm setting on your oven and or slow cooker if you don't have a warming drawer on your oven you can't fool us we all know that's just the cookie sheet drawer dancing my body just can't coordinate with my scumbag brain to be able to dance same it's awful sometimes when i'm alone i'll try to dance and just feel the music it feels awkward and awful i can't even imagine how it looks i don't remember writing that comment i can't whistle edit wow i thought i was the only one i learned to whistle by inhaling somehow one day it just clicked into reverse and now i can whistle in perpetuum maybe inhaling helped me figure out the amber i sure needed to achieve it while exhaling try it out later i learned to hum and whistle simultaneously to make that classic ufo hovering noise my nephew is both amazed and puzzled by it it's hilarious way to make me feel way less special about one of my special skills whistling in and out forever and ever lol estimating distances was that 50 meters 100 meters 500 hell if i know Ooh, i have this too also when something says this room is about 8m2 and I can for the life of me not grasp how big that would be. It's handy to use imaginary objects to visualize things approximately. For example, a tall person is about 2 meters, a bus is about 15 meters, a rugby pitch is 100 meters etc. Continuing a conversation. The silence kills me but I'm terrible at filling it. Edit. Uh, not to be that redditor but whoa this blew up. Thank you for the awards. I will be reading all these comments while I avoid conversations. LOL. My daughter recently complained about this as well and I told her something that has really helped me over the years. I have no idea when I started doing this. But I know it was conscious at first and now it's just a habit. If I know I'm going to see someone beforehand I remind myself of things we talked about earlier and think about questions I'm genuinely curious about in their lives. It helps because when there's a pause in the conversation, those questions will pop up in my head and keep the conversation going. If you're genuinely interested in people and ask about them you'll need have a weird, awkward moment again. People love to talk about themselves. Edit. Thanks for all of the awards. ETC. I honestly had no idea this would be something that people could relate to so well. We're all out there winging it. Whatever works for each of us is honestly the best tactic. If we're true to ourselves and come from a genuinely kind positive state of mind. Conversation will flow with the right people for each of us. Wishing all of us happy conversations especially in our divided. American. State. I know we're not all Americans. Just a shout out to those of us feeling that craziness now. Yup. Questions. It's simple but it really does the trick. It's also important to know closed questions. Yes no. Aren't the best of this. And that asking a question about. But if you ask questions and remember your last conversation. You ask questions and they'll ask questions and you just need to listen and answer. Detecting the presence of a coffee table without using my shin. Yee yee. Add in super pale skin plus anemia and you're left with perpetually black and blue shins. Hort. Woman face palming. Bruised leg gang in the house common culprits for me. Bed frame. Stairs. Even just merely walking. I will bump trip on something at least once a day. Being able to fall asleep during the day for a power nap. I just can't. My brain won't settle down. If I'm going to nap it's a 3 hour process for me. My wife can power nap in 15 minutes. But it takes me that long just to go to sleep. My advice as someone who thought her nap was a 3 hour process. Go to bed. Lower the blinds and just lay there. Put an alarm for 22 minutes first few days end for an hour. I used to think that naps had to feel like sleeping at night but is not. I'm am fully aware of what's going on around me. Or at least that's what I think because as soon as the alarm goes off I can't remember what I was thinking while I was not sleeping. Remembering someone's goddamned name right after they introduce themselves. I just straight out tell them hey, I'm name blind and face blind. So I'm probably gonna forget your name repeatedly and not recognize you right off the bat. So if I see you and don't say or do anything, don't take it as I don't want to know you. Most people are cool with it. I had a boss like this, and this was her response every time she met someone new. 
As we're walking up to people we know at work, I would quietly remind her of their name and how we know them. Some devils wear Prada shit. She once called my friend Anna Terry for a good 6 months every time she saw her. Worked in the same building. After the 3 4th time we all just stopped correcting her. She's still my favorite boss. Rolling my tongue. Like how Hispanic people pronounce their R's. The bad part is my mom is Dominican at it. I appreciate everyone who is trying to teach me with a reply. I still can't do it but your help does not go unnoticed. Does she tease you mercilessly ha huh? I can roll mine. But not consistently. So when I try. It's either lovely. Or you get a fart sound. Woman face palming. Oh yay whenever I ask her to teach me she just does it and walks away. Not thinking I sound like an idiot discussing the thing I'm supposed to be an expert at. Edit. Wow. My first comments to blow up overnight. Thanks. Really. For the awards and positive comments. As I mentioned below. I don't think this is really imposter syndrome so much as a lot of doubt about how I sound. Similar to how most people think their recorded voice sounds weird. I feel like my voice is not only strange sounding, but kind of oafish. For want of a better phrase, I did have a minor speech impediment when I was young. A very wet ass. But this is more about the overall tone and quality of my voice. You mean you have imposter syndrome? You are an actual expert, but secretly fear that people will decide that you don't know what you are talking about? Oh this is the worst. I'm a ducking IQ nurse and I just feel like an idiot all damn day at work. Can't ducking break out of it at all. Edit. I ducking hate these awards ceremony type edits but thanks everyone. Just been really depressed lately. Your kind words help. Ducking cartwheels. How did every girl at school know how to do them? I was like, hell no, I'm gonna break my neck. That was when I was like 7. Now I am 30. Same stance. I'm 28 and trying to learn. I always end up doing a crouch top with my hands on the ground. My brain gets that it's a pretty simple and safe move and my body refuses. I was a gymnast as a teen. Working on your leg flexibility really helps. If you try doing box splits, sideways splits, for like 10 minutes a day while watching TV or something eventually you'll get lower and lower. Try and keep your knees facing up towards the ceiling instead of inwards. This will help you your cartwheel go from crouched to straightened up and your legs will naturally go into that box splits position as you're doing it. Practicing handstands, even against the wall helps too so you get used to being upside down. And of course, just keep trying those cartwheels. And oh see what a previous poster said about really kicking with your leg to propel you off the ground. It takes confidence to do that but you can work up to it with little kicks and kick a little more each time. A mistake I see a lot of people make is as they go down they go down with both hands. You want to go down with one hand then put your other hand down soon after. When your body is upside down. To steady yourself. Soon you can move on to one handed cartwheels or cartwheels to round off. Waking up to an alarm clock. I can't wake up just fine. But remembering to set an alarm was so ducking hard for me. Always ended up putting it off. Accidentally falling asleep. Then waking up in a panic. Getting a smart speaker really helped with that. I just fall into bed and even if I'm drunk I remember to say Alexa set an alarm for 6am then every morning at 6am I say Alexa snooze for 15 minutes it's almost criminal how underutilized that brilliant little speaker is. Always weather, alarms, and timers with me lol. I can't smile for the camera. I feel that. I'm all happy until someone tries to aim a camera at me. Same. Even trying to take selfies, I realize that I have no idea how to create a natural looking smile on command. Shuffling a deck of cards. For the love of god I can't get it down. I've spent time alone. Had people show me how. And I just can't. Edit. Holy crap. This blew up a bit lol. Thanks for the awards. Gonna go fail at shuffling some more lol. Have a great day all. I can't do this. Either. Especially the riffle shuffle, they end up edge to edge, rather than between each other. That ends up folding or tearing the cards, rather than shuffling them. I've destroyed more decks of cards trying to shuffle than most people can imaging. Snapping my fingers. Duck. I can only snap with my non-dominant hand. Not sure if that's normal or not. Same. My right hand, 
I can do everything with utter complete confidence and accuracy my left hand. And I can snap. Double quote. Tying a balloon. I just can't and I have no explanation why. Me either. How are you meant to pull the end around your fingers and tuck the end bit underneath so it ties off? It's so tight it cuts the blood flow off lol. So I don't have a balloon handy so I'll show you with floss. Wrap the end of the balloon around two of your fingers so it's about like fish. Imga. Comex 5R6JCU. JPG then push the end of the balloon between your fingers under the knot like fish. Imga. Com Z5 Bulb. JPG spread your fingers if you're having trouble getting it under. Obviously it's easier with bigger balloons to get the hang of it. How to socialize in groups of new people. I'm okay with socializing. Just not in a setting where I don't know anyone. For me it's any group. Me and my friend it'll talk all day add one person to it and I am quiet as duck. Same here. I'm usually observing what's going on and I usually won't say anything until I'm directly addressed. Talking to people. Smell talk I'm fine with people I already know, or have lots in common with. Can talk for 10 hours a day about nothing. But when it comes to strangers, what the hell is going on? Why are you talking to me? What do you want? Please just be direct. I don't want to play mind games. I don't want to guess what your intentions are. Just tell me. How can I help you? Drives me insane. Edit. Holy crap guys. Thank you for all the helpful responses. Stories and award thingies. Thank you. I can talk to total strangers no problem. I find talking to people I like or am otherwise interested more difficult. If there is nothing on the line I can bullshit for an hour. But if I think you're at all cool or interesting I get really awkward. And this doesn't just apply to relationships or women. Takes me a long time to make friends and get to the talk for 10 hours phase. Looks like both of you can join forces and finish each other's sentences. Folding a fitted sheet. Okay so here's the move. Stick your hands in a corner. Any two corners. Bring them together. And just skjnskax real fast in a circular motion. Condensed pull off sheet. More than acceptable. I like the way you wrote that. Describes it perfectly. Swimming. Same. I'm a marathon runner and can bike for days. Would love to do an Ironman. But I swim like a bag full of kittens. Interesting comparison. Direction sense. I can get lost going someplace I've been a dozen times. Same. If there are two directions to go, I'll somehow pick the wrong one three stroke four of the time in a place that I've been several times. Cardinal directions. Do not tell me go north at so so then turn left and go east cause I will just blankly stare at you. Tell me landmark, s, or street names. I just can't seem to grasp the ability to know. And yes I know that the sun sets in the west. Whichever way I'm facing feels north. Woman shrugging. Someone posted this in another thread recently. The direction I'm facing is north until I change direction and then that's the new north. I thought it hilarious but maybe it's more common. I had no idea that was a thing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just completely baffled. Holding a pencil normally. You don't tape it to your forehead and write that way, pleb. I used to hold my pencil wrong as a child. My teachers decided they didn't like it and made me use a special grip thing on my pencils that forced me to hold it right until I learned. I'm convinced that this is the cause of my abysmal handwriting. For some reasons drinking water without making sound at it. Just satisfied to know that I'm not the only one. See I got a different problem. I can't keep it from spilling out my stupid mouth and onto my shirt. How long have you had a drinking problem? Falling asleep. Bong rip okay bro but what if? And like. Hear me out. Man. Have you ever tried rising to sleep? Woo dude. Using chopsticks. 10 plus years and I still can't get that shit right. After 10 years your chopsticks are probably out of calibration. Or just worn out. Try with a new set. Have you tried putting it in rice? I still can't put on a bra without putting it on backwards to do the clasp. I'm incapable. Is this not how we all do it? No. I do the clasp behind my back. I am told I have extraordinarily long arms, though. But now that my mom has passed I'm the only person who wears bras that I know who does it that way. Everyone else either has front clasp or clasps them in front and turns them around. 
Walking. I once tripped with nothingness. Snapping or whistling. I'm not alone. We need a support group for this. I thought I was the only one. Riding a bike. I forgot how to ride a bike once. It's like riding a bike. Once you learn you never forget. Lying bastards. Swimming for me. Swallowing pills. For the life of me I just can't trick my body into getting something down without chewing the heck out of it. My wife takes her birth control every day and rightfully judges me for my inability to take a damn pill. Oh man. I used to have the same exact problem. I figured out that filling my mouth with water, popping the pill in and just doing the chewing motion for a bit before swallowing makes my body think everything's cool lol. A remotely normal and stable sleep schedule waking up on time. Math. Neat handwriting. Slow or fast. Left handed or right. It's all crap. My 7 year nephew has better handwriting than I do. Coincidentally, I can read any quality of handwriting. Had a friend with even worse handwriting than mine and I had to basically translate his papers in school lol. Making an omelette. I try and then it goes to hell and ends up scrambled eggs. I can't make scrambled eggs. I try and end up with an omelette, toast, bacon, and a glass of orange juice. To be able to set a volleyball, I'm just wired wrong. Me either. I managed to punch myself in the face once trying. Life. D. All of the above. Telling my left from my right colon. Your thumb and forefinger make an L on your left side only. This is literally how I learned to remember. Cursive writing. And just handwriting in general. I mean I can write I'm not illiterate. Far from it in fact but my handwriting is legitimately terrible. Typing with all fingers. I still do the claw approach. Affect versus. Effect. I'm mostly just guessing. No matter how many times it's explained to me. ETA. For example. I just googled and apparently it's affect change and not affect change. Even though everyone says affect is the action. It just doesn't make sense to me and I accept that it never will. Like. It should not be this difficult to learn two very simple words. Effect is a thing. Affect is a process. I remember the phrases there is an effect and I want to affect something. Adulthood. Winning an argument with my husband. The more worked up I get, the calmer he gets. It's pretty maddening. He may have grown up around a lot of arguing. As a kid it didn't take long to realize that an argument fizzles out faster as soon as someone stops reacting and just lets things ride. Sort of a learned defense mechanism to make the noise stop. I do this. Quick edit. In conflict. Value peace over justice is probably the best way I've heard it. You can be right. But driving the point home that you are. Or think you are. Is just more fuel for the fire. Just get things back to quiet. It's a better place. Tying a tie. Talking to woman. Riding a bike. Doing my taxes there are a lot of things. I'm a woman. Hello and There. One problem sorted. Hello. It truly a pleasure to make your acquaintance on this auspicious day. Did you know a barn owl's left ear is located at the level of its forehead while its right ear is located at the level of its nostrils? It's BTW. Thanks for the help. I'm just kinda oblivious when it comes to picking up on the signs when a girl likes you. Caring. Like. Seriously. All gonna die one day. And everything you've ever done in your entire existence will end and disappear. So what's the point? Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.